Saurisian dinosaurs differed from Ornithischian dinosaurs in ways other than just their hips. They have pits in the bones, indicating a bird-like breathing system, probably evolved around the time of Herrerasaurus and the early emergence of dinosaurs. Using bird-like air sacs working like bellows behind and in front of the lungs, air would constantly be passing through the lungs, not just on the moment between inhale and exhale. Theropod dinosaurs using this system could maintain their top speed longer than any other animal around them. Mammals have to sprint anaerobically, starving their muscles of oxygen that they just can't get into their system fast enough. Birds and dinosaurs don't have this problem, but what does this mean in a practical sense? If a cheetah can maintain its top speed for 3 seconds, and a human 10, how long for an ostrich? A minute? 5 minutes? Try half an hour. This allowed the theropods to run down their prey, but it also helped the other saurisians, the sauropods, become the largest land animals ever. The vertebrae of adult sauropods were almost completely hollowed out by air sacs. On average, the volume of sauropod vertebrae was about 61% air. These air sacs could have acted as a cooling mechanism, allowing heat to pass from the blood and tissues into these sacs. It's not known whether these air sacs in the bones were connected to the respiratory system or not, but even if they were not, the heat could have been lost by passing it onto the air as it passed out of the neck. The presence of air sacs also explains how sauropods with such long necks were able to breathe. A mammal would not last long with a neck like this, as the trachea, or windpipe, would have so much dead air inside it, little would reach the lungs. An air sac system, like those of birds, don't have to worry about a long trachea. A whooping swan has no trouble with a trachea that winds through its body. A magpie goose is perfectly fine with a trachea that loops around like this. And a trumpet bird can go around with a trachea like this. Something as simple as a long neck is a breeze. There is also a difference in how oxygen is passed into the blood. In mammals, air is drawn into the alveoli, and gas exchange occurs with blood vessels that are around them. Birds do things differently. The air is fed through tubes in the lungs, and is surrounded by a web of blood vessels that, importantly, flow in the opposite direction to the air. This means that even though the oxygen is being taken from the air, the oxygen in the blood is always lower, so oxygen is being passed into the blood along the whole length of the lungs. The difference in these systems is stark. A mammal can expect 55% of its blood to be saturated with oxygen. A bird has 80% of its blood saturated. Birds today use their air sac breathing system to run longer and breathe at phenomenal altitudes. But it all began over 200 million years ago with the dinosaurs. Thank you for watching. Do all the YouTube things, like, share, subscribe. If you'd like some more in-depth information, you can check out my dinosaur profiles on this channel. I have a playlist here, and I hope to see you again.